Hello, welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create menus in Microsoft Access 2013. There are two ways to do this. Uh, the new way, uh, which is built into the Microsoft ribbon bar, is with the navigation form. Uh, and the old way, uh, which is still supported but doesn't uh, show up on the ribbon bar, is a switchboard. There are some advantages and disadvantages to both, so I'm going to show you both ways. Uh, the menu is constructed uh, by creating a form. On the form, uh, you place buttons uh, representing the forms, reports, and queries. Uh, and then optionally, you can set that form as the default opening uh, when you start Microsoft Access. You can also create custom forms or menus for uh, subsets of work. For example, if you have a person dealing with a new customer entry, uh, you can create a special form for that person that shows the forms, reports, and queries, particularly for that individual. So let's get started. Uh, I have here a sample database. This uh, database uh, comes from a textbook, uh, Pratt & Last's uh, uh, database management uh, book. And I'm going to use that as an example to show you uh, how to do these two different ways of creating Microsoft Access menus. So the first is the uh, new way that's built into Microsoft Access, and that's with a navigation form. Uh, it's uh, relatively simple uh, to do that. Uh, this, in fact, is documented. I'll show you where to find that. If you go to Google and type in uh, create a navigation form in Access 2013, site colon support dot office dot com, it should pop up as the first result uh, here. Create a navigation form access from the site office dot com. Uh, these are the official uh, instructions, so you can go through here. Uh, they have some uh, additional tips and so on that I won't go into. Uh, I'm just going to get you started on this, but if you want additional um, instructions uh, and so on, you can get them here. Uh, go to Create on the uh, toolbar here, uh, and go to Navigation, and look at the drop-down. Uh, it gives you, it, it will create the form for you, uh, and it gives you some options on exactly how you would like this to look, so you can experiment around with this. Uh, I'm going to go with vertical tabs right um, just to show you how this works. So if we click that, it creates a navigation form for you. This is probably the simplest way to go. Uh, and once it creates this navigation form for you, all you need to do is drag the uh, queries, forms, uh, or reports over uh, where it indicates Add New. Uh, so to, for example, add a form that you would like opened from this menu, uh, click, drag, and drop. Uh, and it's really just that simple. Uh, so let's create a few items over here where it says Add New. Uh, we can create orders. Uh, and then let's pull over a couple of reports. So we'll pull our customer uh, over here, our item over here. Uh, and maybe orders over here. So these are the reports that we would like. Uh, and it's pretty much just that simple. You can see that it has uh, opened this up in uh, the layout view. So we have a limited ability here to uh, do some adjustment. We can um, double click this, change this form. We could call this, for example, main menu. Uh, we can save this. Um, as main menu, and uh, we are pretty much done. Now you can see that we have a form over here called main menu, uh, and uh, when we uh, view this in view, form view, uh, we have our, uh, let me shrink this perhaps just a little bit, So we have our menu over here, uh, and as you can see, as we click these, it opens up the either forms or reports uh, in this window here. Uh, and so this is the uh, current method uh, of creating this menu, uh, and this is an easy way to do it. It's now built into Access. 
uh, if we would like this to be the form that opens when we start access, uh, we can go to File, Options, uh, go to um, Current Database, uh, and where it says Display Form here, uh, we can go down here and click Main Menu and click OK and then close and open the current database for the specified option to take effect. What that means is that if we um, close access and then restart it, uh, that form will open when we start uh, the database uh, and this is our then opening menu. Okay, so this is one option. Let's close that. The other option you have for an opening menu is what's called a switchboard. Uh, this is an older method. This is still supported in Access, but because they've put in this new, uh, this new kind of navigation form, it doesn't appear. Uh, this uh, works a little bit differently and has some other benefits uh, that you may want to take advantage of. Uh, it doesn't appear on the menu bar. Uh, probably the easiest way to do that is to add this to this quick launch thing up here. So let me show you how to do that. Up at the very top here is a configurable quick launch menu. One of the options up here that comes by default is save. You probably know about that. Uh, the other is undo. The other is redo. Uh, you can add commands to this quick launch thing. And this is probably the easiest way to go about adding the switchboard functionality back in. So let's drop this down and go down here to more commands. Uh, and then let's add commands not in the ribbon. We'll come down here uh, and find Switchboard Manager. Uh, and we'll add that to the Quick Access Toolbar uh, and click OK. Um, and you must close and reopen the current database for the specified option to take effect. I don't think that really applies here. Uh, as we can see, it added the Switchboard um, uh, Manager up here to the Quick Launch. That, that may have had something to do with um, uh, the action that we just took over here. Uh, and by the way, uh, before I proceed, let me just delete this uh, previous main menu uh, that we added so it won't get confused with the um, um, won't get confused with the current operation. And let me also undo this. Uh, so we have a clean slate here for our, our second option here. Okay, so now we have added the uh, switchboard manager uh, to our, our database. And when I click this, it says the switchboard manager was unable to find a valid switchboard in this database. Would you like to, to uh, create one? Uh, and we're going to go ahead and say yes. And this is the uh, switchboard pages. Uh, we can have multiple switchboards, just like we could have uh, multiple navigation pages. Uh, so it works uh, the same way uh, as the navigation uh, forms that we just looked at in our prior example. Uh, and uh, it creates, a, 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 to start with, a, a main switchboard uh, default. Uh, and we're going to say, uh, yes, uh, we like that. And we're going to go ahead and edit that. Uh, and now we need to create our items on the switchboard. Uh, so we'll create a new item here. Uh, and uh, the text for this will be our main menu, much like we did in our previous example. Uh, the command for this will be, and in, in much the way we, we did drag and drop, uh, of forms, uh, reports, and queries. Uh, we're going to add buttons to this form. Uh, and so we'll start out by opening a form in add mode. And the form that will open is customer. And I'll click OK to that. Um, and um, we'll add another item. We'll call this um, customer report. And the customer report will be to open a report. And the report that will be opening is customer. And let me edit this. 
this will actually be um, add customer. Sorry about that. Okay, so now we have on our main switchboard, we have two items. We're going to open a form, add customer, and we're going to open a report, uh, customer report. Uh, so now we can close that and we can close our main switchboard. Uh, note that we now have a form down here called switchboard and here's where we can rename that, that um, switchboard to main menu. And let's see what that looks like now when we open that form. Uh, here we have the main switchboard. We can add customer uh, and it opens it up to uh, our customer uh, form. Let's close that and we can go back to the switchboard and now we can open the customer report. Uh, and here's our customer report. So I think you can see the difference between this and the navigation um, uh, the navigation approach, which is the navigation approach keeps your menu open on the right side here and opens the former report in this window. Whereas the switchboard uh, is a standalone form that has buttons on it. And when you click those buttons, uh, it opens up the um, it opens up the form report or query in full screen. So these are two different approaches and you may like one or the other better. Uh, again, uh, both of the switchboard and the navigation form are actual forms. Uh, so we can open these in a uh, layout view where we have some facility to uh, uh, fiddle around with how these things look. Uh, for example, we can uh, move our uh, buttons this way, uh, maybe make those a little bit bigger, uh, depending on your uh, form building skills. We can also go into design view, uh, play around. Um, let's see, where's our um, uh, design um, uh, arrange and so on. We can open up the property manager uh, and uh, where's the property sheet here, for example, if we wanted to change uh, the color uh, of the um, uh, text here, we could, we could change that. Um, so depending on your prowess with uh, form design, uh, you can go in and play around with this, and you can do uh, that with both the uh, navigation form approach and the switchboard approach. Uh, and then we can uh, look at here our changes. We took effect. We changed this to gray, uh, changed the color of these buttons around. Uh, and if we need to go back and add more buttons, we can click the um, uh, switchboard manager here uh, and edit this. We can add more buttons here. Uh, and uh, make um, edits to this. Uh, we can also uh, create, um, so we can create new items here. Uh, we could also create a new switchboard here. Uh, for example, we could call this customer manager. Uh, and uh, we could create a new switchboard, uh, as I mentioned with the navigation manager. Uh, we can create a new um, uh, switchboard uh, for subtasks for people who might need their own menu uh, to create um, uh, items or to manage uh, certain subtasks. Uh, and again, in, in the same way that uh, we, we made uh, the navigation form the opening menu, uh, we can simply go here uh, to options, uh, go to current database, and the display form that opens um, we can make that uh, the default form that opens with the database. So two ways to create a menu, uh, uh, the, the navigation form, which is the current uh, recommended method uh, in Microsoft Access. Uh, the older method, the switchboard, uh, is also uh, an option that is still supported in Microsoft Access. They function a little bit differently. Uh, the navigation form uh, opens up the forms and the reports and queries in a window, uh, maintains the uh, menu options uh, in the example uh, I showed you in uh, uh, tabs on the right. Uh, but as you saw, there are different uh, uh, formats available, so you can play around with those. Uh, the older method, the uh, switchboard method, uh, creates a form with buttons on them when you click 
the buttons, it opens up the form report or query uh, in a separate tab. Uh, so depending on what you're looking for, uh, what you like, uh, you can use either of these two methods. I hope this video is helpful, uh, and so thank you for watching.